why is there like a huge number of suicides that happen in IITs? Ah. <laughs> Uh, Tell me about that. Like, let's go deep into it. What do you think is the cause, and what do you think needs to change? See, I've uh, not really spoken about this much. I mean, I made a couple of videos on this when the actual suicide happened. I need the inside kind of info into it. <laughs> Correct. So a lot of things happen, right? Like, uh, despite of the fact the suicide happened because of the student, or maybe his friends, or maybe the parental pressure. or maybe due to academic pressure doesn't matter at the end of the day he's a student from iit iit ka suicide iit mein suicide hua hai that's what the news comes out to be but most of the times it's usually not just related to iit you know i agree that there's a huge pressure uh, when compared to other colleges in terms of academic load and project submission deadlines exams there's so much going on every single day like you'd be rated you'd be compared even the grades you know like are relative in most of the cases mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but i don't think that acts like a, that has a huge pressure on students usually it's because of personal reasons or some other reasons and mostly not due to ragging also ragging culture is not there in iits it is there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but very less it's it's also not called ragging it's share called, your uh, experience senior junior introduction kya bolte hain usko it's called see uh, initially it was ca- called uh, orientation program mm. and then it was called assimilation program <laughs> <laughs> so the way ragging happens it's not exactly ragging also i'll first tell you the process so there won't be any kind of ragging there won't be any kind of uh, senior interaction or there just be like mentor mentor interaction in the beginning when you ca- get into an iit during the first year at least this is about iit kharagpur so first year there's zero ragging there's nothing but The actual thing starts when you get into second year. Second year, that too not throughout the year. There'd be a phase. You'd be you'd be getting a mail called. Uh, you'd be having your assimilation program starting in a week, and this will typically go on for seven days to ten days. During that, you'll be called like after the classes, after everything happens, like at nine, ten, thirty, or something like that. You'll be called into a room where second years would be there, and then immediate seniors would be there, or sometimes like fourth years, fifth years also would be there. And then there'd be you no. Know, it's not a typical ragging. but they ask you for like your intro they ask you for you know there's a specific format for you to give your introduction like you should say your name first and then where are you from this 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 if you miss the format or even if you miss the order or even if you miss anything or even if you if your audio is like not up to the mark you'll have to repeat it again repeat it again you shouldn't smile in the middle <laughs> poker face yeah <laughs> but at the end of the day it helps like after 7 days or after 10 days you come out to be a new person So it was a fun experience you're saying. It's not a fun experience. <laughs> It's not a fun experience. So in in bits what happened is that the first month the seniors cannot meet the juniors. It's like that rule. So they cannot go to the hostels only if they come to their their hostels of seniors only mm-hmm. then they can meet. Got it. So so that prevents a lot of that from happening I think. But uh, anyways that's a huge thing. One more thing is that a lot of your videos are watched by people who are either in like school or Correct. getting into college. Do you think that there is a huge like mental health problem with students who are always trying to get into the best colleges who look up to you as you went into IIT and think like mujhe bhi IIT mein jana hai but kai baar unka nahi hota hai so they feel depressed about that acche number nahi aa rahe what do you think uh, so does this happen what can they do this actually happens like there is a huge pressure at least like you i both of us pre- were preparing for IIT ja even were uh, in like 11th and 12th so this pressure is obviously there because because like you have you want to prove yourself right like people would be like if you if you don't do this then you are a failure if you don't get into it then you are a failure if you don't do this you will be a failure so i mean but on a grand scheme of things do you think it matters it doesn't it doesn't matter in the long run like yeah. not as much as they hype it to be correct and who hypes it the coaching center yeah so we all know the <laughs> correct so we all know the answers like it's predominantly the hype not that getting into iit is bad or something i think if you can get into iit then it's good but it doesn't matter if you, if you don't like the grand scheme of things at the end of the day all that matters at least right now is the skills that you have that's that that's all like previously people used to like when lockdown initially came people were behind the certificates mm. like online course a online course karo o online course karo, get certificates get certificates you'll basically build a list of certificates that you have but right now like no one even asks you for a certificate so i guess in a long run doesn't matter mm-hmm. doesn't matter and uh, majorly whatever the mental health issues all this 
these things come because of the expectations set by parents expectations set by the coaching institutes uh, the hype that coaching institutes build all of these things mm-hmm.